three four triple zero seven. A California man accused of making a post emergency call that led to the fatal police shooting of an unarmed man in Wichita says his intentions were never to get anyone killed. KWCH's Jacob Albrecht spoke with Tyler Barrett at the Sedgwick County Jail. I would just I just wish I could have like rewound somehow, you know, and just never done it. A remorseful Ferris wishes none of this ever happened. I never intended for, you know, anyone to get shot and killed. But even if getting an innocent man shot and killed by police was never the intent, many wonder why anyone would make a swatting call in the first place. There's no inspiration. I don't, I don't, I don't just get bored and sit around and, you know, uh, decide that uh, I'm going to make a swat call. So why? Barris says oftentimes people have paid him to make swatting calls. So you were you were paid you were paid to make the call? Um on numerous occasions I have been so, you know. Can you tell us if you were on this occasion? I'd rather not. Ferris was hesitant when asked directly about making the call to Wichita police that led them to the home where Finch was shot and killed. But he did offer some insight into his feelings, knowing what a swatting call ultimately turned into for one Wichita family. Well, it hasn't just affected my life, it's affected, you know, someone's family too, as well, you know, someone lost their life. Like, um, you know, <laughs> like, I understand the magnitude of what happened. So it doesn't have, it's, it's not just affecting me because I'm sitting in jail. Like, I know who it has affected, you know, I, I, you know, I understand all of that. Barris is charged with involuntary manslaughter, giving false alarm and inter-